after 21 years of marriage Candace Cameron Bure has finally revealed the truth about her husband Full House actress Candace Cameron Bure and NHL player Valerie Bure have been married since 1996 that's over two decades spent in holy matrimony What's more on the surface their marriage seems absolutely idyllic with no affairs no fights or temporary splits in fact No crisis of any kind still is anyone's marriage really like that Picture-perfect flawless well looking through interviews that Cameron Bury has conducted over the years It seems that there's more going on in the relationship than you might think and some of its rather controversial too Back when she was just Candace Cameron Bure was cast as DJ Tanner in the show full house and while she was just 11 years old at the time She nevertheless had the background to help her move easily into the celebrity world Her mother was a talent agent for one while her brother Kirk was also a child actor in fact while playing Mike Seaver on the TV show Growing Pains he became a bona fide teen idol Bure subsequently grew up on the set of full house while occasionally branching out into other film and TV work she even appeared in two episodes of Growing Pains alongside her brother Meanwhile in 1995 and while still appearing on Full House She attended a charity hockey game to see her co-star Dave Collier play He would go on to introduce her to Russian hockey player Valerie Bure the man who would become her husband What's more as luck would have it Bure was a big fan of Full House Candace Bure was just 19 years old at the time and her husband-to-be was 21 and so while both of them were at fairly young ages to get married they didn't seem to care at all indeed they moved very quickly from their first date to their wedding barely a year had passed before they got hitched in fact they subsequently tied the knot on June 22 1996 at a ceremony attended by several of Bure's full house co-stars John Stamos Bob Saget Lori Loughlin Jody Sweden and of course Dave Coulier were all there Many a marriage has eventually fallen apart because the couple were too young or too unaccustomed to each other to make it work But that didn't happen to Candace Cameron and Valerie Bure indeed as the years went by their relationship seemed to remain strong Valerie even once sent Dave Coulier a personalized hockey stick reading. Thanks for Candace to honor Coulier for his role in their meeting and the pair soon started having children first came Natasha in 1998 then Lev in 2000 and finally Maxim in 2002 Plus something else happened in this period of Candace Cameron Bure's life. She became a Christian Her brother Kirk had become a born-again Christian when he was 17 and he subsequently started giving his sister religious books Once she read them she also decided to embrace her faith and it was to become a huge part of her life While Bure took some time out of her career to look after her children. She'd returned to acting again by the mid-aughts she guest starred on the popular show that's so Raven for example as well as appearing in a few Hallmark movies and having a main role in make it or break it Furthermore her marriage never seemed to falter as a result fans wondered why seeing as she was in an industry That's never really been associated with successful matrimony Well come 2014 Bure's view on marriage became a lot clearer as her book balancing it all my story of juggling priorities and purpose set out her blueprint for wedded bliss it turns out that she felt that the longevity of her marriage was due to her religious beliefs Specifically Bure stated that her job in the family's household was to be submissive to her husband and that's the key to a healthy marriage In her book Bure had written my husband is a natural born leader I quickly learned that I find a way of honoring his take charge personality and not get frustrated about his desire to have the final decision on just about everything I'm not a passive person, but I chose to fall into a more submissive role in our relationship because I wanted to do everything in my power to make my marriage and family work These remarks subsequently caused controversy They met with so much controversy in fact that Bure then decided to do an interview with the Huffington Post in which she explains her opinions The definition I'm using with the word submissive is the biblical definition of that she said so it's meekness. It's not weakness. It's strength under control. It's bridled strength However, she also said that in any household. It's very difficult to have two heads of authority But many people weren't satisfied by these explanations either So a few days later Bure gave another interview this time to HLN in it She said the word submissive sounded bad only because people don't understand the biblical definition of the word she then elaborated further by remarking I think they're thinking of it in terms of a perverted 50 shades of gray kind of definition or an oppression or even a dictatorship And that's not what I'm talking about 
we have a very wonderful marriage Bure continued and that's why I felt comfortable sharing about it in my book I had no idea this was going to stir this much controversy we have a marriage in which we want to honor God and so I was just explaining that but this little word in there is causing everybody to just get into a tizzy about it indeed Bure's social media accounts were going wild in particular opinions flooded in on her Instagram page after she posted a picture of herself showing off her muscles that may be because she captioned the image nothing weak about this people talk about what they don't understand however the comments posted in response to the image were extremely varied some agreeing with her and some not being submissive isn't weak at all it's biblical good for you one person wrote however another commented I agree there's nothing weak or wrong about your life or marriage but when you publicize it and sell it I believe there is in fact this debate was to continue for more than a year in January 2015 moreover Bure gave an interview to Yahoo parenting to establish that she hadn't changed her views about these issues I put my husband on a pedestal so he can grow and he does the same for me she said men and women are different in how they want to feel love and respect to go back to the Bible men are told to love their wives and women are told to respect their husbands what's more the controversy even continued into the following year by 2016 Bure had become a co-host of the view and her co-stars were very interested indeed to know about her marriage so the women held a discussion about the question does a relationship need a leader in which they all weighed up the pros and cons however in the end Bure found herself outnumbered as the other women all thought that her views were very much outdated what the Bible actually says about submission in marriage can be found in Peter 3 1 it reads in the same way you wives be submissive to your own husbands so that even if any of them are disobedient to the word they may be won without a word by the judgment of their wives Bure clearly believes in this Bible passage but has it really helped her and her husband get the relationship they wanted an answer of sorts to that question came in June 2016 when Bure posted a message for her 20th wedding anniversary let's be real for a second we're celebrating 20 years of marriage today 22 years together as a couple she wrote I couldn't be more proud to be here and love my man the way I do but let me assure you it hasn't been all roses the whole journey wait what there have been several tough years in a row ups and downs bad attitudes and bad decisions but we've persevered we rode them out we loved each other through them we kept the focus God's glory she said we're both better for it I'm so grateful and thankful for the man I married neither of us are perfect far from it and will continue to make mistakes because we're human some might have taken the Facebook post as a sign that the marriage was slowly disintegrating but given that all relationships hit their snags that may not have been the case and in March 2016 Bure revealed another secret to in touch that suggested that things were still going swimmingly namely she and her husband still have an active love life even with their three kids and busy hours when I'm home we have to keep things alive Bure said what's more 2017 was a very good year for Candace Cameron Bure not only she spent 21 years with her husband but her career is also going from strength to strength with fuller house the full house reboot she remains a devout Christian too and mentions her faith frequently on her Instagram page and that faith has apparently led to a happy marriage even if it's not necessarily in the way that everybody would choose please share this video with your friends below